Hello friends, in this video we will see dilution and concentration method and questions. For dilution and concentration, we don't have any special formula. We will use either dimensional analysis or C1V1 or C2V2 formula. So without any delay, let's begin. All questions in this video are from Pharmaceutical Calculations 13th edition by Howard C. Ansel. Our first sample question is If a cough syrup contains in each teaspoonful 1 mg of chloramphenaramine malleate and if a pharmacist desired to double the strength, how many milligrams of, the, of that ingredient would need to be added to a 60 milliliter container of the syrup. Assume no increase in volume. So we have important information that we have one milligram in each teaspoon full. Teaspoon is equals to five milliliters. So we have one milligram in five milliliters. Then the final volume is 60 milliliters. And most important point is assume no increase in volume. Let's see how we solve it. We have one milligram in 500, oh sorry, five milliliters. The final container that is 60 milliliters will contain 12 milligram of chloramphenaramine malleate in original syrup. If we want to double the strength, we simply add 12 milligram more chloramphenaramine in the syrup so the concentration will be double that's the simplest example now next question if a 500 milliliters of a 15 percent volume by volume solution of methyl salicylates in alcohol are diluted to 15 1500 milliliters what will be the percentage strength so we have v1 v2 and c1 and we want to know what will be the c2 so c1 is 15 percent with 500 milliliters then we have we have to find c2 and we have v2 when we put all this stuff and calculate it we got 5% simple next question is if 50 milliliters of 1 is to 20 weight by volume solution are diluted to 1000 milliliters what is the ratio strength first we solve this example with dimensional analysis if we have 1 gram in 20 milliliters then how much we will have in 50 milliliters when we calculate it we got 2.5 grams now according to the question 2.5 grams are dissolved in 1000 milliliters diluted to 1000 milliliters we will keep in ratio because the answer is required in ratio strength so 2.5 in 1000 milliliters when we remove this decimal, we will add a zero in the denominator. So 25 is to 10,000. When we try to solve it, we got 1 is to 400. This is when you use dimensional analysis. The next way to solve this same problem is by C1V1 and C2V2 formula. We have 1 is to 20, which is equals to 5%. The concentration C1 5% and volume 150%, volume 2000 ml, and we have to find C2. When we calculate everything, we got 0.25%, which will be 0.25 into 100 ml. When we solve it, we got same 1 is to 400 ratio strength. So you can solve either way. Next example we have if 
syrup containing 65% weight by volume of sucrose is evaporated to 85% of its volume, the percent of sucrose will it contain? In this question, we will assume uh, some points like any convenient amount of the syrup, for example, 100 ml for our own convenience may be used in the calculation. If we evaporate 100 milliliters of a syrup to 85% of its volume, we will get 85 milliliters. There is no hard and fast rule to assume 100 milliliters, but that's how it is solved in Ansel and that's how it makes sense and easy for me to understand. So let's suppose it is 100 milliliters. If we have 85 milliliters and 100 milliliters, then how much we will be, how much percentage will be? So 65% X percent when we calculated it is 76%. In our next sample question, we have how many grams of 10% weight by weight ammonium ammonia solution can be made from 1800 grams of 28% weight by weight strong ammonia solution. First we will solve it with dimensional analysis. 28% means 28 grams in 100 grams of solution and how much we will have it in 1800 grams. So we got 504 grams of ammonia in solution now how much we have in 10 percent so 10 percent means 10 grams into 100 grams we have 504 grams of ammonia now we have to find out the final um, volume of final weight of solution final weight of solution so when we multiply it, we got 5040 grams. That's how we do in dimensional analysis. I know it's little tricky. So let's see, apply C1V1 formula. In C1V1 is equals to C2V2, we have 28% multiplied by volume or quantity 1800 grams, then 10%. And we want to find out volume or quantity too. When we calculated, we got the same answer, 5040 grams. Next sample question. How many milliliters of a 1 is to 5000 weight by volume solution of a preservative pleural conium chloride can be made from 125 milliliters of 0.2% solution? So we can clearly say uh, see that this is in percentage and this is in ratio. First we convert it into percentage. 1 is to 5000 means 0.02%. Then put C1V1 formula. We got XML into 0.025% and 125 milliliters of 0.2%. When we calculate it, we got 1250 milliliters. Next, if one gallon of a 30% weight by volume solution is evaporated so that the solution has a strength of 50% weight by volume, what is its volume in milliliters? One gallon is equals to 3785 milliliters when we put our formula we got 2,271 milliliters. Now, if you can remember, remember that one gallon is equals to 378, 3,785 milliliters. If you cannot, if you just remember those five things I told you in our conversion videos, then we can do like this. 1 gallon is equals to 128 flit, flit ounce. 1 flit ounce is equals to 30 milliliters. 
Now, 128 fluid ounce will be equal to 3840 milliliters, which is closed to 3785. Now, remember it when you convert it like this, you will definitely get higher amount. So, round up or get an estimate because you cannot remember all conversions and do not overload your mind with conversion okay so if you have four or five things in your mind and you try to convert it remember that the value will be higher if you calculate it then we got 2304 which is almost close to 2271 so this answer will give you an idea of correct option you will have four option you have to choose okay so if you convert it and you got even higher value of course you will get it but this value will give you a, a clear idea which option could be right and always choose a lesser one which is close to your answer in exam this is just a tip if you can remember Remember that one gallon is equal to 3,785 milliliters.